Hey everyone, welcome to Accounting for Manager series. In today's video, we are going to learn about the classification of accounts. So let's get started. Before we can learn about the classification of business accounts, we should know how to analyze business transactions. Okay, that comes as the first step in our accounting process or the accounting cycle. That is identification of transactions or business transactions. <coughs> So, analysis of business transactions actually involve four steps. First is that we have to assert it or identify or note down all the accounts that will be impacted by this particular business transaction. After that, we need to ascertain the nature of the accounts that are involved in the transaction. Okay, and that by asserting the nature, uh, we mean that we need to identify whether that these accounts, each of these accounts, whether they are assets whether they are liabilities or whether they are owner's equity for business. Okay. Once we ascertain the nature of the accounts that are involved in the transaction, we can determine the effects. That is whether this account's value is increasing or decreasing. Okay. And then based on that, we can go and apply the rules of debit and credit. So, how do we classify the accounts involved in business transaction? So, for that, we actually have two approaches. The first approach is a traditional approach or also known as the British approach. And the second approach is the modern approach also known as the American approach. So we will, um, we will learn both these approaches in this video. Okay. So according to the traditional accounts, the accounts are actually classified into three types. That is real, nominal and personal. Okay. So this is the old system for classifying accounts. But right now, it is actually very rarely used. Okay. So, real, nominal, personal. These are the three types of accounts when we think about it in traditional approach. Now, what uh, what are the criteria that an account should, uh, what you can say, fulfill for it to be termed a real account or a nominal account or a personal account? We will get to it shortly. But this is what the traditional account is. Okay. Then in modern approach, that is the American approach, we have asset, liability, revenue, expense and capital owners equity. So, this is almost derived from the accounting equations perspective. In accounting equation, we mainly had asset liability and owners equity, but in the modern approach, we have revenue and expense accounts as well. Okay, this because a business will have its own expenses and it will have revenues as well. So, there are actually five types of accounts in modern approach and this is what is mostly used nowadays. Okay. And most of the cases, we will also be uh, applying the rules of debit and credit based on this modern approach. But I will also tell you how, in case you are using the traditional approach, how we apply it, that also I will tell you. But we will mostly focus on the modern approach because that is what is being in use right now. Okay. So, classification of accounts under the traditional or the British account, uh, as I said, is first personal accounts. So, personal account means, uh, so it would be actual individuals, right, natural persons or artificial person, that is business entities, kind of like that, okay. Or it could also be representative persons, okay. So, accounts that represent somebody else also is all personal accounts. Impersonal accounts are real accounts, real in the sense it could either be tangible or intangible and nominal is what includes the income, gain, losses or expenses, okay. So, these are the different sub classifications of the three main classifications. So, what are personal accounts? Personal accounts, as we said, right, it could either belong to a actual person or a natural person, an artificial person or a representative person. So, like for example, when we say Mr. X's account, okay, or a city bank account or some other businesses account, these are all considered uh, personal accounts, okay, because business is also treated as a separate entity, right? So, if my business, say, uh, Reliance is doing some business transaction with Airtel, okay, then in the books of accounts, if these guys were following the traditional approach, in Reliance's book of accounts, Airtel would be a type of, what you can say, personal account. In personal accounts, as we said, are either real accounts or nominal accounts. Real accounts means permanent accounts, okay? Or nominal accounts means temporary accounts. So, permanent accounts, they will not be 
what you can say at the end of the accounting cycle we said the last step is closing of books of accounts right so real accounts their value okay will not start they will not start with zero at the end at the beginning of every accounting cycle they will have some amount of money transferred from the previous account cycle but uh, temporary accounts they will be made zero they will be readjusted to the actual real accounts and every uh, uh, financial cycle every accounting cycle they will start with a fresh zero balance they will get accrued throughout the accounting cycle and when we close it by we, when we close it we will sum it all up and give it to the other accounts like drawing accounts all these things are actually uh, what you can say nominal accounts so don't worry we will we have a lot of other videos also planned by then you will actually by the end of it you will actually be able to identify all these things easily so even if it is you're finding a little bit difficult to wrap your head around and identify transactions by yourself don't worry stay calm we'll get there soon enough okay so impersonal accounts real accounts as i said right uh, they exist even at the, after the end of the accounting period okay that is they start with a non zero balance like a machinery account land account furniture cash accounts payable all these things are real accounts okay and they are listed in the balance sheet of the businesses because and because of this they are also referred to as balance sheet accounts nominal accounts as i said earlier they will be closed at the end of accounting period and at the next accounting period they will start with a zero balance okay uh, they cover issues like income gain expense losses all those things okay and they'll accumulate all the income or expense or losses and they will be used to prepare the income statement or trading profit and loss accounts all those things okay so they are also referred to as income statement accounts real accounts were also termed as balance sheet accounts but nominal accounts are termed as income statement accounts so wages paid rent paid purchases gains asset sales sales all these things are nominal accounts now in the classification of accounts under modern that is american approach we had the asset liability capital revenue and expense what are these Ac asset accounts uh, include like land machinery accounts receivable prepaid rent cash accounts all these things they are assets right so if uh, you don't know what an asset is or a liability is or a capital is uh, do check out our video on where we describe in detail how what an asset is and how you can identify it like what a liability is what a capital owners equity is all these things okay i will leave a link to that particular video in case you are interested somewhere around in this video okay so asset accounts the liability accounts they could be loan accounts accounts payable wages salary rent payable that is we have not yet paid okay these are not payable hmm? because we are yet to pay them and therefore they become a liability to us revenue accounts could be sales account service revenue rent revenue interest revenue like rent revenue when we have a building and we have given it for rent then we get revenue out of it and that revenue we write it down in rent revenue okay expense accounts wages expense commission expense salary expense rent expense if we are owning if we have rented some property then definitely we will have to once we pay the rent then it is a rent expense capital or owners equity like uh, it could be mr x's account or the capital account like that so let us do a small exercise now uh, we have a list of accounts mentioned over here okay list of eight accounts now since right now we have learned both the traditional and modern approach right on how we can classify what are real accounts what are nominal accounts what are personal accounts or what are asset accounts liability accounts capital accounts revenue accounts expense accounts all those things we have learned right now okay at least its definition we have so with that definition let us actually try to uh, what you can say um try to pinpoint what each of these accounts if they come in a business transaction would be okay let us try to classify these accounts in both the traditional way and the modern way okay so i would uh, want you also i would want you to classify it yourself okay and come back and look at the answer so please pause the video write these things down so that 
you get the hang of it unless you start doing it yourself it will become difficult when you hear these concepts it may sound easy after a couple of times of hearing it but when you start actually practicing it you will find that initially you will have that block so for that you need to practice that's why i'm saying please pause the video write it down yourself and then come back and see whether you got it right or not and if you are finding it difficult to classify them right now go back to the start of the video listen to it once again or read through the material that is displayed in the screen in the ppt and come back here okay if you need this ppt leave a comment down below and i will post it in our telegram channel okay so i hope that you guys have uh, listed down your classification now let us uh, see how we can classify so i'll tell you the answers right now see if you got it right okay so plant and machinery account what would this be we have in traditional approach we have three major types personal accounts real accounts nominal accounts okay a personal account might belong to a person or an individual right it could be a business or an actual person so plant and machinery is not that nominal accounts are temporary accounts which is for gains losses income expense all those things this is also not like that real accounts real accounts are for the real permanent things plant and machinery is a permanent thing so i would say this is a real account next purchases so first we will go to all the traditional one and then we will come to the modern one if that's okay for you okay so purchases definitely i can root out personal accounts now purchases every financial year we start fresh right uh, every financial year uh, we can say that okay this this year it's like our uh, you can say this year i'll buy a tv this year i'll buy a, a laptop or this year i'm going to get a car then next year we start fresh okay this year i will buy a new mobile phone this year i will invest in some stocks like that so every year it refreshes right I, our purchase mentality others will hey that cloth i bought last month this is this month right so purchases is something like that so that is it gets refreshed at the end of every accounting cycle means it is nominal similarly sales this month i sold these many things or this month i got these many subscribers this month um or this accounting fin this financial year we made these many billion in sales next year we again restart right we don't carry forward yes last year sale to this year that sale was last year we sold it last year now we have to do the same thing or improve upon it this year so that is also nominal account because it will get refreshed rent once every month i have to pay rent this month i paid rent means i cannot say that next month hey i paid last month or i paid last year no it doesn't carry forward it also gets refreshed every year so i will say nominal account it's here land and building it is real account because they are permanent okay cash account last year i made so and so revenue and i had these many expenses and then in total after subtracting all the expenses or all the liabilities and all those things i now have say 100 rupees with me then next year or next month maybe i also got 50 rupees now in total i'll have 150 rupees like that we think right for cash account so that means it is a real account now rahul's capital rahul's capital right person so it is a personal account loan from sbi from sbi sbi is also sbi is not our uh, permanent account right it is kind of like a artificial person right so it is again a personal account so this is the traditional classification i hope you got it right if not if you did not get it right then i hope that you at least got an idea of how to think about it right so now let us look at how we can classify this exact same set of accounts in the modern approach so modern approach means there are five kinds of accounts assets liabilities owners equity that is called capital accounts expense accounts and revenue accounts plant and machinery what do you think it is an asset right it will give the organization revenue it is it is an asset so plant and machinery will be an asset purchases 
when we purchase something especially when we say purchases it is an expense it is something that results in an expense for us so this will be an expense account sales it is a form of getting revenue right so this will be a revenue account rent again is an expense land and building they are assets cash cash in hand is an asset it can be used for something else so it is an asset rahul's capital so this capital was uh, given from uh, rahul but uh, since it is a capital for our business this is a capital account or a owners equity account loan from sbi it is a liability we have to pay it back so this is a liability so i hope um, these different classifications you have understood how we are classifying it so that was for today's video uh, how to identify and classify our accounts involved in financial transactions so i hope you this video helped you understand how we can classify in both the nominal as well as the modern approach sorry both the traditional so i hope that this video helped you in understanding how we can classify accounts in both the traditional and the modern approaches so in the coming videos we will be seeing how to find whether the uh, value in these accounts are increasing and decreasing and how we can apply the debit and credit rules so it is very important that you understand this video clearly uh, please rewatch it if necessary and uh, see that you can yourself without any other help uh, complete the exercise at least this one exercise that is given to us in this video and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll surely get back to you okay so bye bye and all the best